Hello and welcome to the Happy Profit Podcast. It's your girl, Sarah. Thanks so much for being here today. It's a pleasure to have your company. I'm excited about the word I have to share with you today. If you've been tracking along with me the last couple of episodes, you'll know that I've released a word to you as an individual for 2024, a word to the body of Christ. And finally, this is a word I have for the great Southlands that I would say constitute Australia, New Zealand, and the islands of the sea, the island nations. And so please enjoy it today. If you want to know more about me, you can follow me as I follow Christ. Head to sarahcheeseman.com. If you like this podcast, please subscribe and share it around. You can also watch this on YouTube where you can watch a lot of other fun things going on as well. I've just started a course. It's free and live called Soul Health and about cultivating the garden of your heart. So please check it out if you're interested. Uh, You are going to enjoy this word. I released it um, at Wesley Wednesday as part with our Jesus Company ministry, and you are going to enjoy. It really is a call to prayer uh, to come alongside what the Lord is releasing in this hour for this portion of the earth. And so whether you're an Aussie or not, Um, I do hope you enjoy the word because the glory of the Lord is being poured out and many, many will come to enjoy it. Um, So incline your heart, incline your ear and your spirit, and I will see you on the other side. This is what I I felt like the Lord say, um, that Australia and New Zealand are gateways to the island nations of the Pacific. Let me say that sentence again. Australia and New Zealand are gateways, I felt that spiritual gateways and very much in the natural to the island nations of the Pacific. I sense it is time for us to join together that Anzac spirit and build a movement of prayer that will usher in the move of God that is being released in this day throughout the great Southlands. And when I say the great Southlands, I'm referring to Australia, New Zealand and the islands of the Pacific, the, the island nations. I sense that as a generation in unity, we are being invited to seek his face according to Psalm 24, 6. Uh, And that says, um, it talks about who shall, verse 3, and I I prophesied about this recently, but I felt like Psalm 24 is very much for 2024. Last year we were in Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, and we needed that. Um, But I felt like him saying that this year it's our ascension. Uh, which is Psalm 24, who may ascend the hill of the Lord? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto an idol or swears by what is false, he will receive blessing from from the Lord and vindication from the God of his salvation. Such is the generation who seeks your face, who seeks your face like Jacob. And I felt like the Lord saying the ascension is not just for the individual, it's for the generation and it's our unity that actually precedes glory. And when Solomon dedicated the temple to the Lord, it says that there were 120 priests that ministered, made sacrifice before the Lord as one body. And the glory of the Lord came in a cloud so strongly that the priests couldn't stand to minister and of course it's a type and shadow of the 120 in the upper room in one accord in the spirit of unity seeking the face of the Lord and the Holy Spirit is released um, without measure and so we see this here in Psalm 24 um, as the generation ascends in holiness before the Lord in verse 7 it says from the passion translation passion translation Wake up, you living gateways. That's us. Lift up your heads, you doorways of eternity. Welcome the King of glory, for he is about to come through you. And so as individuals, we are gateways of the glory of the Lord as we ascend um, the hill of the Lord together in unity. It's going to be magnificent. This is what he wants to pour out in us as individuals, but pour out through us unto the nations. And it's interesting that we're the gate, living gateways. And as I said, Australia and New Zealand, the gateways to the Pacific as well. 
And as his glory, I went on a bit of a tangent there, sorry about it. As his glory is released, we will, and this is what I felt the Lord say, we will see a great missions movement to this region of the earth, particularly from Australia to the Pacific, as the Lord sends out laborers into the harvest field. Indeed, many will flock to this part of the world from all nations as the spirit of the Lord is poured out without measure. The Lord is increasing the visibility of the great south lands in this hour and many will come to help bring in the harvest. If you're resonating with any of this, please let me know because it helps me. Hello. Um, it helps uh, me know that I'm, I'm hearing right. It's awesome. Um, and next, um, I felt like um, God was saying that, and, and actually this year with Jesus Company and Wesley Wednesday, we're just going to pray the word of the Lord. That's what the prophetic word um, is for. We go to war, as um, Paul instructed Timothy to do so, with the prophetic word given to us. And so that's what we're going to do this year. We're going to pray um, the word that the Father has spoken to us and continues to reveal. Amen. Um, and so, of course, um, in, this, in the Pacific nations, you see... Um, the influence of other nations coming. And I feel, I feel like the Lord really, um, it feels very intentional um, that any Antichrist spirit um, that would seek to um, come and well, steal or abort or detract from the move of God before it comes to full term, um, he really wants that influence to be removed. And so that's how we're going to pray this year and I believe that that influence is in direct opposition to the move of God prophesied by Smith Wigglesworth and all those fans of prophecy will know this one that the last we're fans of prophecy so we know this one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he'll say more I promise <laughs> that the last you have all the words. I have all well I have all the words for now but I'm sure you they'll come I mean you could um, add an amen anytime darling or if you are welcome to interject no, an anytime sort of amen I am an amen you want me on your front seat hey like if I'm sitting here listening then you're good enough to listen to oh thank you darling that means a lot to me anyway we will continue with the word hello Robin Ellison I love you. We love you so hey, much. Hey, Caleb. Good to have you, bro. Anyway, we digress. Huh? I was saying hello. Louis. And Louie. Hello, hello. So, getting back to the prophetic word from uh, Franz Smith Wigglesworth. The last great outpouring of the Holy Spirit before Jesus' return would begin in Australia, New Zealand, and the islands of the sea. And, of course, many voices have added their yes and amen um, to this over many years and of course we agree with that again tonight let it be lord amen amen so, because that wasn't my words that was the lord's you know so but <laughs> ephesians 6 12 remember our battle is not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of darkness of this world and against spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places and so we really feel like this is how the Lord would have us position ourselves uh, this year. Um, and uh, for these nations, sorry, for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit in these nations, for the laborers to be thrust forth into the harvest field, and for all the plans of the enemy to come to naught. In Jesus' name. He Amen. De he delights to come to his people. <laughs> he did great. And indeed, he is coming. Hallelujah. Well, I hope you were very encouraged by that word. It really is a call to prayer to seize the hour, to recognize the days that we're in and just to give our whole hearts to it. Um, great news coming up. We have Glory Prophetic School at Glory City Church starting this month on the 23rd of January. And you can avail yourself in person um, or online if you're not here in Brisbane. But it would be such an honor to have you. And again, if you enjoyed this podcast, please like, subscribe, share it around. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. I want to encourage you at the beginning of this year that your life is significant. You are bought with a price and the Lord wants to do exceedingly abundantly beyond all you can ask, hope or imagine. So happy new year to you. Be yourself, change the world.